All right, everybody. I'll quickly demonstrate how you can create a uh, this this heat distortion effect. I'll start with the noise. The noise isn't isn't just just to leave it to the default, and then you have we want to have a transform node. Just shift the x by one, and this one or shift the y by one. And here comes the, the the merge node, and you have uh, you can set um here it comes down to the merge node. You just set the operation to minus. You can also work with the from, and then you might think oh, I've heard minus, but what's from? And then you just hover your mouse here, and you got everything there. That's it. Uh, minus is a minus b, which means a minus b, and the from is b minus a, just the opposite. Okay, let's, let's go to the shuffle node. You just want to shuffle the R channel into the R into the red channel. And right here, you want to shuffle the R channel into the green channel. And you might think, what, what, why is R channel into green channel? Because it's grayscale anyway. You have you share it share the same value all across the channels. You can hover your mouse, and you can see the number right here. Right? It's negative point oh 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 seven five. That's it. Okay, now here is the merge node. We just set to plus, and you plus those two together. And if it's not strong enough, don't worry. Just add, add a, a multiply node and just crank up to 25, and you're good to go. <laughs> and here is the shuffle copy node. You just wanted to shuffle the RGBA, one RGBA, which is one, is this one, RGBA, the R and G into the UV, uh, the red channel and the green channel in the UV layer. And now you have a UV. Come down to the distort node. And you can finally choose UV channel, the UV, and just play with the play with the the, the value, and you good to go. You have heat distortion. And the problem is the heat distortion isn't just a, a distortion; it's it always has a certain amount of blur, and that's why I have blur here. Look, awesome. One thing I forgot to say is uh, how tedious it is to make these nodes every time. But don't worry, just select every node and uh, hit the wrench icon and hit create it. Just name it whatever you want. I am not going to do that because I have already done it. Go to here, heat distortion, and you're done. Another thing I forgot to say is this mask. And I did this with the Blender material ID. And you could also do this with the crypto map or object ID. So just go search the crypto map or object ID with the with the program 3D program name you're using. So yeah, happy happy nuke.